on a warm summer afternoon, they're holding court in Brooklyn Park. This four-day free hard in the paint hoops camp is just the ticket for these young players. It's fun, but it's still hard because you don't get to do everything you want to, especially because even though there's big gatherings, you still have to watch out for the COVID, but I still think it's a good camp. It's fun, it's nice. Um, I think it's fun. I think it's a good challenge, um, especially like, you know, with COVID and everything, it's fun playing with people again instead of just playing by yourself. I mean, like, we have stations, so I think the stations are challenging and it helps you. It's a mixture of hardcore hoopers who haven't had as much chance to play this summer due to COVID-19 and those giving the sport a try. Especially this summer, I mean, there hasn't been much for the kids to do. So, you know, with AAU basketball being at a minimal as well, for them to be able to step on the court, we work them out first part of the day, do drills, and we train. We have coaches that coach high school, coach at all different levels, and we also have like junior coaches, coaches that are playing college basketball, and we work them out, then we feed them, and then we put them on teams and have them play all week, you know. The turnout's been good in this first time in Brooklyn Park for Hard in the Paint. They've partnered with the city's park and rec department to get the word out. So it's beautiful because the word spreads, the kids have a good time, and if the kids have a good time, they're going to tell their parents and they're going to tell their friends as well, you know, and then it, call, it's, it's, it doesn't cost anything. So all they got to do is bring their hard work and dedication and a good attitude and we work with it. Some hard work, plenty of smiles, and the chance to meet a lot of new kids is on display at Zanewood this week. Jay Wilcox, CCX Sports. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.